Who's ready for E3 2017, baby? <laughs> going on my people edible incredible back at it again baby this video i'll be discussing my predictions for nintendo's e3 so let's get right into it right off the bat i'm gonna predict nintendo will reveal smash bros for the nintendo switch probably not gonna be a new game but more so a port with all the dlc just like mario kart 8 deluxe now my reason for this is the new smash dlc amiibo Cloud, Bayonetta, and Corrin are releasing on July 21st. What if this is the same date as Smash drops for the Switch? Sure, it's a bold statement, but hear me out for a second. Nintendo did the same thing for the Zelda amiibo that dropped with Breath of the Wild on launch day. It isn't out of the realm of possibilities, in my opinion, for them to replicate this once again with Smash. Also, think about this. Why the hell are these Smash amiibos releasing on July 21st? if they would only be compatible for the Wii U if Nintendo was trying to kill the Wii U. And the Switch will be out for about almost, almost five months at that point. It just doesn't make any sense, yo. Unless Smash Switch is coming sooner than we may think. Okay, so that's my bold prediction. I'm also gonna hop out on a limb and say a new Metroid will release in 2018. They may or may not announce this at E3, or save it for a direct, but I firmly believe it'll drop next year. Now to some not so bold predictions, and more so a hope for me, is they tell us when the summer DLC for Zelda is dropping, and give us a glimpse at the winter DLC. Also, I think we will get plenty of gameplay of Mario Odyssey, probably similar to how they showed Breath of the Wild last E3 with a Nintendo Treehouse is my guess. Alright guys, so that's my predictions. I know it sounds like it's from left field, but stop and think about these for a second. Especially about Smash and these upcoming amiibo. Why are they releasing these amiibo so late in the year and after E3? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this and sound off below what your predictions are. Let me know, bro. By the way, the footage that you're seeing right now is actually me. Earlier tonight, I literally flew with my paraglider from on top of Death Mountain to Zora's Domain without touching the ground once. It took me a few tries. But it was definitely rewarding. Also, I'll be doing plenty more of Zelda and Nintendo hype. So if you're into that, maybe you can dash that subscribe button. But that's totally your choice. And this is Edible Incredible. Signing out. Stay hype, my homies. Peace.